fans to Salina, Kansas, the Sacred Heart Gymnasium on December 16th, 2016, as the gals and the guys get ready to take on Sacred Heart tonight in their second NCAA contest of the season. First of all, the girls, Minneapolis is two and two. Having lost two games in a row to Halstead and Ellsworth. And uh, the Sacred Heart Knights, I believe, are one and four. They beat El Dorado in the Chapman tournament last week. And then they were beaten pretty handily by Russell last Tuesday night. Minneapolis has beat the Knights in several games in a row. Here are our starting lineups. Charisma Veneri, a sophomore, starting for the Lions. Grace Worcester, starting. Kylie Roth, senior, starting tonight. Freshman Ali Cochran, we saw quite a bit in the JV game, starting tonight. Adeline Laws, senior for the Lady Lions. Grace Ivy, number 20, senior for the Knights. Kylie Fuller, a sophomore, starting for the Lions. Catherine Merrick, starting for the Knights. Mackenzie Allison, five foot eight senior, starting for the Lions. And Haley Rodriguez, the other starter for the Knights. Coach Weatherman, assisted by Heather Bergman and Coach Shea here this evening. Lady Knights are coached by Arnold Schmidtberger and Kim Cochran. So both teams looking for their first league win tonight. Let's see if the Lady Lions can get it done. Adeline Laws will jump tip for the Lions and number 20, Grace Ivy for the Knights. The Knights control and they get a layup that's no good. Veneri with the rebound. Come two on one, bound to Laws. Baskets up and off. Worcester, Worcester for the Knights with the rebound. So each team's had a shot at the close end basket, both have missed. Cochran, freshman, into Ivy, dump it down to 21. That's Catherine Merrick, she's fouled. Adeline Laws. 
Merrick to shoot two. Makes number one. Misses number two. Adlin Laws with the rebound. Out here to Veneri. Roth on the right wing. Back of the Laws at the front. And she tries to get it to Fuller. Down below the basket is a little high. But Merrick with the Knights touched it on the way out of bounds. Roth will inbound. Set out front to Mackenzie Allison. She pops it. No good off the boot heel. Rebounded by Cochran of the Knights. Lady Lions in the familiar 2-3 zone. Dump it out to Worcester on the side. No good. The Cali oh, Cochran for the Knights chases it down. Ten takes a three, and it's good. That is Marin Smith. Veneri for the Lions. It's four to zero. Nice. Kylie Fuller with a shot that goes in. Come the Knights. Cochran with the three. Bounces up high, no good. Laws with the rebound. Comes Veneri across the timeline. Down to Fuller inside, open. Shots up and is off as she's fouled by Ivy. So Fuller to the line for two. Gets the first one. Number two's on the way, it bounds out. She gets her own rebound, it's tied up. Possession arrow to the Lions. Roth will inbound the ball. Gives it to Fuller. Over to Veneri, she turns down to three. Roth from the right wing takes a three, it's off. Cochran gets the rebound for the Knights. She drives, runs, puts up a runner, is no good. Veneri with the rebound. The runner for her is off, and uh, Adlin Laws has rebound and put back. Another rebound and is blocked out of bounds by the Knights. Roth will put the ball in. Faith Cornick comes in for Laws. Fuller with the ball. Gets it out to Veneri. Drives in, shot is off. She gets her own rebound. Puts it out to Roth. It takes a three, it's off. Fuller with the rebound, it's shots off. Cock, well, Cornick with the shot. After the rebound, it's off. Annie Ivy for the Knights gets the rebound. It's 4-3, Sacred Heart. They get it in Annie, her shot is off. And it's rebounded by Mackenzie Allison. Out to Veneri. Over to Roth. To Fuller at the top of the key. Allison takes a three from the left wing, it's no good. Out of bounds off of Annie Ivy of the Knights. Grace Ivy comes in. Lauren Gregg comes in and does Courtney Walker from Minneapolis. It's 
Cornick gets it over to Walker. Down, try to get it down low to Allison. Thrown away. Turnover on the Lady Lions. Number 10 with the shot. This is no good. Mackenzie Allison with the rebound to Walker. Across the timeline to Gregg on the right wing. Cornick at the top of the key over to Allison. Down low to Cornick. Gets it to Fuller. Turnaround jumper is no good. She's fouled. Kylie Fuller will go to the line for two. She made one of two earlier. Bounce, bounces off the boot heel of the rim. Number two on its way, and it's good. Ties the score at four. The Knights with possession. Worcester. They get it down low to Ivy. Back out to Worcester. Down low to the other Ivy. Up front to number 10. It's out. Faith Cornett clears the board. So the shot was by Marin Smith. Veneri down to Roth. Veneri Roth on the right wing. Now over to Allison on the left wing. Deep left is Cornick. Cochran steps in front of the pass and intercepts. Cochran with a shot for three, and it's good. Sacred Heart takes a timeout with a 7 to 4 lead. 255 remaining in the first. We'll be right back. Okay, Minneapolis will inbound the ball after that three-pointer by the Knights. And the Knights are going to come out and in a full court press. They have two fouls. Minneapolis has one. 255 remaining in the first quarter. Allison gets it into Veneri. Kinsey Allison over to Veneri, across the timeline. Knocked out of bounds by the Knights. Veneri drives in. Takes the baseline, puts it out to Adam Laws. The shot is no good. Cochran with the rebound for the Knights. And Veneri with a reach in foul. And she got bumped in the throat with the elbow or something. Grace Worcester was the one that was fouled. Anyway, Charisma is having a hard time catching her breath right now. Second team foul, first personal. Each team with two fouls. It was not a shooting foul, so no free throws. Smith into Cochran. Over to Worcester, two-pointer is no good. Fuller gets the rebound for the Lady Lions. And the Lions trailing by three, seven to four. Walker across the timeline down to Roth. Back up to Walker. Two, Allison over to Roth again. Back to Allison, left wing, turns down to three, drives in, pulls back. Into Fuller, shot is no good, she's fouled on the shot. Mm -hmm. 
20. Second personal. Third team foul. Fuller to the line for two. First one's off. Zoe Shupin for the Lady Lions. Well, her second shot is good. She's three of six on the evening. Worcester, 145 to go in the quarter. Cochran. Good defense by Fuller. Rodriguez attempted to get the ball into the post. Cochran over to Worcester. Three is off. And uh, 35. Annie. Ivy gets the rebound on the putback. She is fouled by Adlin Laws. First free throw by Annie Ivy is no good. It's seven to five, Sacred Heart. Second free throw is no good. Fuller. Has the rebound, but it's tied up from behind. Possession arrow goes to the Knights. Cochran inbounds for the Knights. Up to Smith. Smith back to Cochran. They get it down to Ivy. Back up to Worcester. Over to Smith. Pass around the horn, looking for an opening in the line zone. Cross court to Smith. Down low, Fuller picks it off. Pick up by Walker. They try to in, put the ball into Fuller on the post. It's knocked away by three Knights out of bounds to the Lions. 102 to go in the first. It's the night seven, Minneapolis five. Zoe Shoup takes a three from the deep wing. It's no good. Merrick with three rebound for the Knights. Smith takes a three for the Knights. It's off. Ivy with the putback for the Knights. Her first points of the night. Shoot drives in, puts up a runner, it's good. Nine to seven, Sacred Heart. 18 seconds remaining in the quarter. Cochran drives, banks it off the glass for two. Walker takes a step in instead of shooting. Try to get a little closer and we run out of time. After one quarter play, it's the Knights of Sacred Heart 11, Minneapolis 7. We'll be right back. All right, second quarter ready to begin. The Lions will inbound the ball with the possession arrow. It's Roth, Shoup, Fuller, Kornick, and Allison on the court. We throw it away. Intercepted by Cochran. Allison fouls number 24 on the shot. That's Rodriguez, Haley Rodriguez. First personal on Allison. Fourth team foul. Rodriguez to the line for two. 
front rim is the first one. Second one on the way. It's good. Shoot across the timeline. Allison over to Roth. She takes the three from the left wing and cans it. Knights working the ball around the horn, looking for an opening in the zone. Shoot with a quick steal. It goes for the layup from the right, and it's good. Ties the game at 12. Knights looking, passing it around the horn. It's over to Cochran. 15 footers off, no good. Allison with the rebound. So we shoot over to Roth. Mackenzie Allison drives, takes the 10-footer. It's off. Rebounded by Amber Palin. Cochran across the timeline. Palin on the left wing. Cochran on the right side now. Palin at the top of the key. Down low to Ivy inside, picked off by Faith Cornick from the Lions, 6-13 in the second. Tied at 12. Down low to Fuller. She makes a move to the basket. It's no good. Rebounded by Merrick of the Knights. Cochran for the Knights. Over to Rodriguez. Down low. 21. Merrick's shot is no good. Allison with the rebound. Out to shoot. Here come the Lions looking for the lead. 30 second timeout. Lady Lions. 5.35 to go here in the half. It's tied at 12. Be right back. All right. I. Just noticed I neglected to turn the recorder on after the last time out. The Lady Lions are up 19 to 14. <laughs> Having gone up on a three by Lauren Gregg and a deuce by Mackenzie Allison. 3.50 to go in the half. We tied it at 12 and then have gone ahead by five. Worcester shot is off. Cornick with the rebound. Gets it out to Veneri. Holly Roth gets it over to Allison. Veneri from the deep right corner. It's no good. Mackenzie Allison is going to be called for a push off on the rebound. Her second. Team's fifth, the Knights with three. Kylie Fuller in to get Mackenzie Allison out of danger on getting that third foul here. 3.20 to go in the half. Come the Knights on the attack. Worcester to Smith. Ivy, another, another high-low action picked off by the Lions. Walker to Veneri. Roth rescues it. Three-pointer is no good. Veneri with the rebound. Off the glass, no good. And Ivy gets the rebound for the Knights. That's Grace Ivy. Smith. Ivy up to Worcester. Smith takes a three, and it's good. Come the Lions. That's her second three of the game. Veneri takes a three from the wing and drains it. 
puts the Lions back up by five. Twenty-one. Tried high-low action, picked off by the Lions again. That's about three times they've tried to dump it in low, and the Lions have intercepted each time. And uh, this time, Grace Ivy fouls her third of the four that the Knights have. Two or six to go in the half. Kylie Roth gets it to Shoop. Breaks the timeline. Oh, and lost it. Cornick back gets it. Fuller ties it up and uh, tries to get it over to Greg. It goes, a, goes awry out of bounds to the Knights, but good hustle. One fifty-three to go. It's twenty-two seventeen Minneapolis. Rag goes for the steal. Little, can't get it. Ivy shot is up, no good. Thirty-two. Shot is blocked by Cornick. She gets the rebound. That was Amber Palin. Greg tries to get in the Fuller, but it's picked off by the Knights. And here comes Cochran to Palin. Back up to Cochran, she takes a three. Front rims. Amber, or excuse me, Grace Ivy. Yeah, Grace Ivy with the rebound. <coughs> Down to Amy Ivy, her shots off. Roth with the rebound. Greg into Fuller, shot is good off the glass. Her seventh point, three of them on free throws. 40 seconds to go. The Lions up by seven, 24 17. Greg tips the ball out on that pass. Veneri replaces Shoop. 33.76 seconds left in the half. Cochran with the ball for the Lady Knights. We have a travel on number 24, Haley Rodriguez. 27.31 seconds here in the half. The Lions up by seven. Look and see if they can expand this lead. Veneri to Roth, drives in, back to Veneri. She drives, puts it up, and no good, and she's fouled. Blocking foul on Cochran, I think. Yes. Shooting foul, Veneri to the line for two. Cochran's first foul, fifth team foul. And the first free throw misses. Second free throw up and good. Come the Knights, six seconds. Back up to Cochran, she takes a long one and drains a three as time expires. Pulling the Knights to within eight, 25 to 17 at the end of the half. The Knights led 11 to seven after one quarter. Back with a little wrap up in the first half shortly. Actually the score is 25, 20. Okay, welcome back to halftime here. The, uh, Knights jumped out to the 11 to seven lead in the first quarter. The Lady Lions roared back in the second quarter, outscoring the Knights 18 to nine to take the 25 
to 20 lead over the Lady Knights. Scoring for the Knights so far. One point for Catherine Merrick. One point for Haley Rodriguez. Four points for Annie Ivey. Five points for Allie Cochran. Six points for Marin Smith, and I don't think I got, make that eight points for Cochran. For Minneapolis, pretty spread even. Two points for Mackenzie Allison. Three for Kylie Roth, three for Lauren Gregg. Four for Zoe Shoup, seven for Kylie Fuller, and eight for Charisma Veneri. The leading scorers for the Knights are their freshmen, Allie Cochran and Marin Smith. Be back with second half action. Okay, welcome back for second half action. Slight correction on my stats. Uh, Allie Cochran leads the Knights with eight points. Cochran and Smith, the two freshmen, scored eight and six. 14 out of the 20 points for the Knights. Knights with the ball to start the second half. Cochran. And Ivy, and it's tipped away by Roth. Worcester recovers. Worcester to Rodriguez, over to Cochran. Rodriguez, a three is short. Roth comes up with the rebound. Out to Allison. Veneri takes a drive, dribble in, tried to get it to Laws. Tipped away by the Knights, here they come, Worcester. Drives on Allison, shot is off. The Knights get the, oh, Kylie Fuller with the rebound for the Lady Lions. Roth on the right wing, drives in. 10 footer from the sides off the side of the glass. Fuller ties up the rebound, possession arrow two. Can't see the arrow, goes to the Lions. Allison inbounds the ball. Moves that out to Roth. Veneri takes a three. It's good. Drop my scorebook. Cochran to Worcester. Ivy out to Rodriguez. Down low to 21. And Anna Ivy from the low post gets her sixth point of the night. Allison gets it across to Ross. She takes a three from the other side. It's no good. Cochran with the rebound for the Knights. They get it down to Worcester. Pass picked off by Laws, then again by Cochran. Tries to dump it low to Annie Ivy. And it's off the Lions. 28-22 Minneapolis. Cochran dumps the pass into Catherine Merrick. She collects her first bucket of the game. Out to Veneri, back to Allison. She turns, takes the three, no good. Annie Ivy, the Knights with the rebound to Cochran. Rebounds, 
Annie Ivy's shot is no good. Cochran comes up with the rebound for the night. She drives in. She's fouled on the way to the basket. So she'll go to the line for two. Thirty-three Fuller with the rebound. Her first of the game. Cochran for two. Missed the first, I believe. Ten Smith comes in. Second one's off. Ivy gets the rebound. Her shot is no good. Shoop with the rebound. Down to Greg. Inside to Cornick. And she zips it over Kylie Fuller's head. Out of bound to the Knights. They trail 28 24, 503 remaining in the third quarter. Cochran over to Smith. Back to Cochran, down to Annie Ivy. Her shot is in and good. She's fouled. Edlin Laws picks up the foul. Ivy with one shot. It's no good. Laws with the rebound. Shoop across the timeline. Greg to Roth. Shoop on the left wing. And we throw it away. Several Lion turnovers here recently. And the Knights throw it away. They go. Oh, yep. Okay, Fuller and Veneri come in for the Lions. Laws and Greg sit down. Cornick into Shoop, crosses the timeline, down to Roth. Shoop at the top of the key. Cornick to Roth, gets it into Fuller. Free throw line shot by Shoop is in and out. Cornick cleans it up, off, no good. She gets the rebound and is fouled by Grace Ivy, her fourth. First team foul of the half for the Knights. Anna Ivy comes in. 406 remaining in the third. 28 26 Minneapolis. Shoop out to Veneri. Fuller's shot is good. It's her third bucket of the game. And to Anna Ivy, knocked away by Kornick, picked up by Roth. Roth crossed the timeline. 30 to 26 Minneapolis. Shoot to Kornick. Out to Roth, over to Veneri. Down low to Shoop. She takes a, drives in, takes a 10-footer. It's off. Kornick and Cochran battle for the rebound off of Cochran. The Lions, Lynn Bannon, leading by four, 30-26 with 3.27 in the half. Worcester in for Palin of the Knights. Roth out to Allison. Veneri for three. It's no good. Cochran with the rebound for the Knights. Smith, the runner, is no good. McKenzie Allison tracks it down. Gets it off to Veneri, who gets it across the timeline. McKenzie Allison on the right wing. Dumps it low to Fuller. She takes the dribble in. Tied up. Cornick's shot is off. Fuller with the rebound. It's off. She's fouled. So 
So Kylie Fuller to the line for two. Gets the first. Second one on its way, short. Mackenzie Allison with the uh, rebound, but it's blown dead. It has to hit something or it's a dead ball, I think is the rule. So Kylie has been to the foul line four times and has hit 50% of them. And now we're having a discussion what was going on. I think it missed everything. Myself. <laughs> Knights with the ball. So Worcester will inbound the ball here to Cochran. Rodriguez to Worcester. Cochran on the right wing takes the three. Short. Rodriguez, or uh, 21, that was uh, Merrick. Three bounds, shot up, no good. Veneri for three, that's off. Kornick, three bound up and in. Kornick's first points of the night. Been doing a good job rebounding. And Faith fouls Merrick on the shot. First foul on Faith Kornick. Free throw number one from Merrick is up and good. She hit one of two previously. Makes that one. Thirty-three twenty-eight Minneapolis. Knights decide to put on a press. Kornick inbounds the ball. Gets it to Veneri. Has it knocked away from her. Roth provides the defense. It shot's no good. Veneri with the rebound. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Veneri drives it in for the layup. Worcester. Timeout Sacred Heart. The Lions are up by seven. 35, 28, 143 to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to third quarter action. Lions up 35, 28, 143 remaining. Knights with the ball here near side. Worcester to Palin. Get it down low to Andy Ivey, blocked by Kornick. The Knights come up with it, throw it away. Roth picks it up, gets it to Walker, has the knock away from her by Cochran. The Knights have it back. Worcester. Cochran for three, off the glass and good. Cornick down low, back up to Walker for a three. It's no good. Warchester gets the rebound for the Knights. 35-31, Minneapolis.
Cochran over to Worcester. Cochran up high. They're going to try to draw Minneapolis out of his own, I guess. Palin over to Worcester. Worcester inside. He tried to get it to Annie, but the uh, Cornick, I believe, stole it away. And at the end of three, Minneapolis leads at 35-31. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to second quarter action. Third, final quarter, fourth quarter action. The Knights get the ball with the possession arrow. Palin into Cochran. They trail the Lions by four. Yeah. Adeline Laws knocks the ball away from Ann Ivy. Cochran inbounds with the Knights. Gets it out front to Smith. Back to Cochran on the right wing. Kicks it out to Palin on the other side. Smith to Ivy or Cochran. Smith takes a three. It's good. By Smith. The Knights draw it within one, 35-34. Veneri to Allison. Down low to Laws. Dumps it into Fuller. Shots up and in. Long one by Smith is no good. Cochran gets the rebound, tries to get it to Rodriguez. Goes out of bounds. Worcester and Grace Ivy come in for the Knights. Trading the Knights trail in Minneapolis, 37-34, 6.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Veneri across the timeline, gets it to Allison. Allison on the right wing, kicks it over to Roth on the left side. She tries to tip it into Fuller, knocked away by Cochran, and Adam Laws gets foul number four, moving, trying to move in for the steal. Fourth team foul, the Knights with two. Cornet comes in for Laws. Smith to Cochran. Over to Worcester, deep left. She drives in, puts up a runner for good for two. 37 36, Minneapolis. Worcester's first points of the game. Smith steals it away from Roth. And Allison fouls her on the shot, puts her at the line. Third personal on McKenzie. Marin Smith to the line for two, her first free throw attempts. First one is good. Ties the game at 37. Second free throw up and off. Cornick with a good board. Out to Corn to Walker. Free throw line shot for Fuller is no good. She gets her own rebound. Kicks it out to Walker. Veneri kicks it to McKenzie Allison. Left free throw line extended, no good. 
fight for the ball. They're going to call a foul on Fuller. Sixth team foul on the Lions. Second personal on Kylie. Time out Minneapolis. Score tied at 37. 538 remaining in the fourth. Be right back. Okay. The Knights with the ball. That's the Minneapolis timeout. Score tied at 37. We get the ball to Cochran. He rescues a wild pass being guarded by Greg. Ivory to Smith. Down low to Ivy, her shots off the side of the board. Rebound battle off of 24, Rodriguez. Allison into the game. Gregg over to McKenzie. Venaria kicks it to Gregg. 15 footer is off the glass, no good. Ivy with the rebound, that's Anna. Knights with the chance to go ahead. Smith takes the three, in and out. Fuller with the rebound. And the Lions the other way. McKenzie Allison drives in, shot is, she's fouled on the shot. Kinsey goes to the line for two. Tan foul on Marin Smith. Her first personal third team. Two for McKenzie. First one's no good. Second free throw on its way and good. Puts the Lions up by one, 38-37. Stolen away by Veneri and she loses it. Really? Weatherman thinks that possibly it was tipped by the Knights, but uh, Referees don't agree. The Knights with the ball. 4.30 remaining in the fourth, trailing by a point. Smith. Runner is no good. She's fouled, blocking foul called. Fuller with the foul. Her third, seventh team foul. Smith to the line for two. She hit one of two earlier. Misses that one. Second one will be on its way shortly. Second one's good for Smith. Veneri to Gregg. Cornick double teamed and she stepped out of bounds fighting the double team. Torse score tied at 38, 413 to go in the fourth. Lions put on a press. Worcester. Smith takes a three. It's in and out. Fuller battles for the rebound tie up. Possession arrow to who? Minneapolis. Roth in for Greg. 
Laws comes in for Allison. Veneri. Minneapolis takes a timeout full. 3.55 to go. Tied at 38 here in the fourth quarter. Be right back. Okay, Minneapolis will inbound the ball after the timeout. Roth will inbound. Little press here by the Knights. Gets it to Veneri. Crosses the timeline. Veneri kicks it and tipped away by the Knights. Picked up by Cochran. Chance for the Knights to take the lead. Cochran drives. Kicks it to Worcester. She goes into the paint. Puts up a runner. It's no good. Veneri with the rebound. Worcester fouls her. Worthed pal, second personal on Worcester. Walker comes in for Veneri. Shoop is in the game also. Over to Walker from Roth. Down the laws. Had Fuller open for a second. Shoop on the right wing to Walker. Roth on the left wing. Shoop drives, shot is off. Worcester with the rebound for the Knights. 3.10 to go in the fourth quarter. Cochran across the timeline for the Knights to Worcester. Down low to Grace Ivy, shot is up and good. Knights take the lead for the first time since the second quarter. 2.50 to go, it's 40 to 38 Sacred Heart. Roth over to shoot. Walker for a three from the deep side is good. Puts the Lions back in front, 41-40, with 2.33 to go in the quarter. Cochran across the timeline to Smith. Cochran over to Worcester. Have a 30-second timeout. Sacred Heart, 217 to remaining in the fourth quarter. Minneapolis up 41 to 40. Be right back. Knights will inbound the ball here on the near side, trailing by one, 41-40. 217 to go. Smith to Worcester. Smith takes the long three, it's off. Faith Kornick with a big rebound. Out to Walker. Roth on the right wing. Dribbles around, guarded by Cochran. To Walker. Shoop on the left wing now. Over to Roth. Deep side is Walker. Kicks it out to Shoop. Rescues what could have been an errant pass. 145 to go, Roth. To shoot. Walker on the left. This shot is blocked. Fuller ties up Annie Ivy after the rebound. Possession arrow to the Knights. 134 remaining in the fourth. Lines up by one. The freshman Cochran will inbound to the freshman Smith. Worcester to Cochran. Smith, they dump it down low to Gracie Ivy. Tipped, got picked up by Shoop. She's fouled by Cochran. That'll be the fifth foul on the Knights. 1.15 to go in the fourth. Second foul on Cochran. Minneapolis, 17 fouls. Coach Weatherman takes a timeout. Full timeout with 1.15 to go. 
Lions with the lead by one and the ball, 41 to 40. Be right back. Okay, time to resume the fourth quarter. The Lions with the one point lead. Knights are gonna come out in the press. Charisma Veneri's back in the game, as is Mackenzie Allison. They get the ball to Fuller, down to Allison, or excuse me, Veneri. She kicks it out to Roth. To Mackenzie Allison. Veneri on the right wing. Is fouled by Cochran. Be the sixth night foul. Third on Cochran. So the next time the Knights foul, we go into the one and one. Which is about a 50% good news. Over to Kornick. She gets the foul of Veneri. Roth on the right wing. She's fouled by Smith. So Kylie Roth, the line for a one and one. 47.75 seconds left. Minneapolis up by one, 41-40. Annie uh, Grace, or Annie Ivy comes in for the Knights. First one's up and off. It's Fuller with the rebound is up and in. 43-40, 40 seconds to go in the fourth. And the Knights about throw it away, picked up by Cochran. Smith on the right wing. Annie Ivy over to Cochran. She tries a three from the left, it's good. She ended the half that way. 21 seconds remaining. They could have called a foul on the Lions, but they didn't. 43 all, 21 seconds remaining. An off the glass three is good. We'll be back. Okay, Minneapolis with the ball. We'll drive the length of the court. Against the press, Mackenzie Allison will inbound. Gets it to Charisma Veneri across the timeline. She's fouled by Smith. We'll put Charisma at the free throw line for a one and one. 16.39 seconds. First one's up and good. Second one's on its way and good. 45, 43 Minneapolis, 16 seconds. Comes Cochran. They take a timeout with 12.53 seconds and you know who the ball is gonna go to for the final shot, Cochran. Minneapolis leads 45-43. Be right back. Okay, the final 12.5 seconds of the fourth quarter. Lions up by two. Knights to inbound the ball in their half of the court. Smith to inbound it. Gets it to Worcester. Oh, Veneri about knocked it away. There's they put it down low to Grace Ivy. It's blocked by Lauren Gregg, but she fouls. Putting Grace Ivy to the line for two with 2.29 seconds remaining. First free throw, good, off the glass. Second free throw, up, 
No good. Oh, no. The battle for the rebound is going out of bounds. Kylie Fuller attempted to save it back in. It goes into the hands of Annie Ivey underneath the basket who puts it in for two. 46-45 Knights. The Lady Lions lose their third game in a row here. Came back, made quite an effort. Losing a heartbreaker to the Knights. A second string is broken. I don't know how many games, but we've beaten the Knights a lot of games. It's gone. 46-45 final. Sacred Heart over Minneapolis will be back. Welcome back to Sacred Heart High School as the Lady Lions come with a very disappointing uh, loss with the last second shot by the Sacred Heart Knights. Run through the scoring for both squads, Sacred Heart. Uh, Worcester with two, Ivy with three. Um, Merrick with five. Uh, let's see, Grace Ivy with three. Merrick with five. Anna Ivy with 11. Uh, Ron Smith with 10 and leading the way, Allie Cochran with 14 for the Minneapolis Lady Lions. <coughs> Scoring wise, Faith Kornick with two, Lauren Gregg with three, Courtney Walker with a big three, Kylie Roth with a three, uh, Mackenzie Allison with three, uh, Zoe Shoup with four, Kylie Fuller with 14 and leading the way, oh, excuse me, uh, Chrisman Venere with 13 and leading the way, Kylie Fuller with 14. So, uh, Dale, I wasn't with you. I got here late and watched, uh, so I didn't get to see the entire game, but uh, what I could see, I was uh, needless to say frustrated, not with our girls' play, but some <laughs> other items. <laughs> well, uh, just to review things, the Lady Lions fell behind early in the first quarter and stormed back in the second quarter out, sh shooting the Knights 18-9 in scoring with the five point lead. Uh, Knights cut into that by one through the third quarter and then outscored us by five, I guess, in the final stanza. Uh, amazing thing, the, the Knights, two freshmen, uh, Cochran with how many? 14? Uh, Cochran had 14, yeah. And, Marais, and Morris, Maris, Maris Smith, the other one had 12, was it? Uh, 10, yeah. 10. Uh, interesting. Both so of two, them had two bank freshmen. shots. Bank yeah, shots for yeah. three-pointers. Yes. I, I just <laughs> unheard of. So. Uh, so two freshmen lead the way for the Knights, and they rode they rode their backs, and they produced. Uh, and then the uh, the younger of the two Ivies with the most points between the two, and she gets the good opportunity of <laughs> being in the right place at the right time to pick up the ball coming back in from Kylie Fuller trying to rescue it. And underneath the glass pops it off and could possibly be debated on whether the shot was in time or not. I, there was not a clock right there, so I couldn't see it. Yeah. It's at the other end. But it was off her hand at least before the buzzer went off. So Lady Night Lions made a good run led for a good share of the game, had the one point lead, and lost it at the end. They will play a very good Republic County squad coming up Tuesday night at home, to close out the pre-Christmas season. We hope you can be there for it. That Dale Leach and Scott Osherman. And to sign off, we'll be back with the boys.